You made it! Yes. Yay! How have you got to this point in your career during radio? It's definitely down to my annoying nature to always do better than what I'm doing. So when I, even when I did radio school, I was that annoying person that after every show would go and see this guy Jimmy Stewart who like ran, was like the programming announcer tutor and be like, what did I do wrong? What can I do better? What can I do better? And so I've just kind of kept that mentality the whole way through. So I've done it for 12 years now and every time I'm doing something, I always want to know how I can do it better. And what um, types of jobs have you done within radio that have led you to this point? Well, I started in the Wairarapa and I did a breakfast show for Moor FM and I was co-hosted with this guy Brent and he was like way older than me so he kind of like mentored me. And so I would do that show in the morning and I would do promos for like all our other radio stations that we had in Marston at the time. After that I won my job on the edge where I did the night show with Brad who's not here anymore. And then someone moved into a different job so I ended up going into reading sports and doing um, like bits and pieces for JJ, Mike and Dom and then did the workday show and I was music director as well. And then this show, came, uh, the afternoon show came up when the show before that ended up leaving and so yeah, I've been doing this show ever since. Although some people think you guys only work a few hours a day, obviously there is a bit more to it. Yeah. <laughs> so what's an average day like? Guy films TV in the morning, so he starts around about 12.30. Clint Chang and I start at 11 and we're on air at 3. We meet up at 1 o'clock every day and we write all our ideas on a whiteboard and then we go through them one by one to figure out which one's the best, how can we make the ideas bigger, how can we make them better. Everything that we do on air, you know, it's ad-libbed as, but we do plan what we're going to talk about, when we're going to talk about it, who's going to lead it, all that sort of stuff. For people out there watching this and are keen to get into radio but they're still in high school or they're trying to figure out what to do after school, how would you recommend them get into radio? I have asked, because I get asked this question all the time, so I asked my boss. He reckons that the key things to study while you're still at school is English and because it, it's like good for your like creative writing and also like media studies and stuff if you can do that and then if you go and do like the course that you're doing, AUT after school or if you go to the radio school in Christchurch or there's one in Auckland and Wellington. Degrees and stuff, awesome, they're going to teach you everything you need to know but they're nothing if you don't have a really really good attitude. Like our boss Leon, he had, um, he has this weird tradition that he'll deny but he has every single person that has started from the bottom at the edge has in their first month had to clean his fridge. He'll be like, oh, can you clean the fridge? Do anything that you can to do the job that you want to do. Don't think you're just going to walk in and be like, oh yeah, I'll have the breakfast show or I'll have the night show please and I'll do that please because that doesn't happen. Like, like Drake said, you've got to start from the bottom and get up there. Marty and Steph are such good examples from our night show. Marty literally came here and it makes me feel so old. He came here as a 16 year old kid. Um, he did everything he would ask for and Steph's the same when she was doing the AUT course and then she was talking to me in the studio and I was like, do you want to do it on here because you've got a really good voice. Like, if you want to do it, come here on Sunday at 6. And I've said that to so many people. I'll help you come here, especially girls. I'm like, come here on Sunday at 6. She is one of three people that has ever turned up at 6. And she, she then came in every single day and recorded a mid-dawn and she did anything and everything, took on any feedback that I had for her and she just did it and now she's got a TV show and a radio show.